and welcome to the next installment of this painting. In this one I'm finishing off the Lego Man and as you can see I've thrown some footage in of some of the places we visited in the last couple of weeks. If you follow me on Instagram you'll know I post a lot of that content on my stories as well. So follow me over there, my handle is at Holly Artwell, H-O-L-L-Y-A-R-T-W-E-L-L. So here I am painting over the top of the acrylic block in. The colours I used for the Lego Man were Windsor Violet or Dioxazine, Cadmium Red, Ivory Black and Titanium White. So I started by painting each section's mid-tones, then the darks and lights and then the highlights last. So I did mix in a touch of Old Holland Yellow Light into the grey tones for the Lego Hands and Face. I used primarily round synthetic brushes to paint the Joker, ranging in sizes from 1 to 3. I did use an almost new set of brushes as I needed to have a really nice clean point for the fine details. So I recently picked up a set of Reeves uh, synthetic brushes and they're actually really good quality and reasonably priced. So I think I'll be buying um, some more of those in the future. So a quick break from painting to show you how I frame. 
using a really old miter saw. Whatever works, guys. Anyway, the timber I use is actually a cornicing mould um, that carpenters use. Um, as you can see, it's actually moulded into that particular shape. So I used to actually glue two bits of timber together to create the ledge that the painting sits on in the floating frame. And then I'd cut the 45 degree cuts. But then I found this and it just works for me. So I sand the edges as I go when I join them so there's no ragged bits. So then once I've made all my cuts, I bring it inside onto my kitchen table, which is where you should glue all your frames together. And I use the framing strap. And if you've never seen one or you don't own one and you do your own framing, I highly suggest you buy one. It is such a great investment. Um, I used to use four corner clamps and man, it was just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, so I glue them all together and let them dry and then I punch a staple into the back corners of each when it's fully dry. just the last few details on the Joker's face there just fixing the eyes and the mouth um, defining his teeth properly adding those highlights adding in a few more darks and that's it so let it dry varnish it throw it in its frame hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys